Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. On today's episode, we're taking like the official trailer for the third chapter in Shyamalan's comic book movie saga, Glass. Yes. Now, for those who don't know, live under a rock. It started with Unbreakable. It starred Bruce Willis and um, uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Bruce Willis played a former football player turned security guard mm -hmm. who one day gets into a train accident and find out he is invulnerable. He's inv invulnerable and unbreakable. Let's see what you did there. Um, he's also impervious, but he has unique, one more unique super. It's all supernatural based. That's the one thing you want to know is that all these abilities are supernatural based. That's yeah. the one thing. One thing to note is that he also has the ability to touch somebody and see their greatest sin or yes. greatest sins. Yes. Pretty much. And by the end of the first movie, not only does he stop a, a serial killer, pretty much. But he finds out that Samuel Jackson character, uh, I forgot his actual name, but he goes by Dr. They call him Mr. Glass. Mr. They call him Mr. Glass because he's complete opposite of Bruce Willis. He has a degenerative um, bone disorder, pretty yeah. much. A stage one one where even the slightest like tap on his bones can actually severely injure him. Yeah, it can break but his bones. But it turns yeah. out he's. It turns out he had. Yes, he has been searching for a super a person with superhuman abilities like him. But well, not like him, but like find one to see. This is this somebody because who, he believed there was an uh, opposite out there. If he was breakable, there was somebody out there who was pun um, intended yeah, unbreakable. unbreakable. So he literally went all full on dark. Yeah, the big the, the big big twist at the end was that he started all the terrorist attacks he mentioned earlier in the film to find the one. Yeah, person. even the train accident that he was in as yes. well. Yes, and then that's where we found out he threw him into a Karelian sand island. Yes, exactly. And then we move on to Split. We meet somebody named Kevin Crum, who has has a rare, unique version of, of Split personality disorder. He has 23 different personas oh, yes. that he has to control. because He has these personas because he needs so much protection as a kid because he was consistently abused by his family. Yes. So he has multiples. Oh, yeah. And he eventually kidnaps these three girls. One of his personas kidnaps these three girls... So he, he, he can use them to unleash this monster known the beast. as the Beast, which is this 24th personality, which is the personality a couple of the personalities are using, so that way Kevin will always be protected. Yeah. And this guy, eats, he's not only kind of a cannibal, but he also, um, eats, he also, um, uh, he also crawls on walls. And he's has jacked up. And he's jacked up. He has superhuman strength. And kind of invulnerability, he can still like, get taken back a bit by like shotgun blast, kind of Luke Cage ish. Yeah, I know. Um, he um, he winds up not killing the last girl because the last girl turns out she was abused by her uncle yeah, after just, her I, father died. Yeah, just, she was raped just, and abused by her uncle. So it's like he let her in a and way he, go. And the unique thing is, Crumb has this philosophy that the the abnormal, the not the broken ones, mm -hmm. are. The next evolution in humanity. Yeah, in a way, that's what it is. So, with yeah, all of this. that, we move to the right to the end, okay. where we see that David Cross is still has the abilities and he's still alive. Yeah. So, so in this one, he is using his unique supernatural mm -hmm. abilities to try to find Kevin Crumb and stop him. Yeah. And that's where we pick up. Yeah. So, um, the only other, aside from James McAvoy. Samuel Jackson return and Bruce Willis return. We also have the girl from the end of Split returning as well. Oh yeah, so let's just dive right into this because we did a lot of talking. So I apologize. I wanted to establish. We should have just waited till a certain point, but oh well. I'll just make sure I put it a little thing in the beginning to let you know. Kristen's gonna talk a lot. Please start here. Yeah. Heard your reaction. I, I apologize. So here we go for the official Comic Con trailer for Glass. So here we go. Hey, Sarah Paulson. It's amazing to me. Which one it's is simply extraordinary? Which one is each she meeting? I know. That's all I want to know. Maybe this will make sense if I explain who I am. My name is Dr. Ellie Staple, and I'm a psychiatrist. My work concerns a particular type of delusion of grandeur. 
It's a growing field. I specialize in those individuals who believe they are superheroes. Oh. Wow. There they are. <laughs> Which one is that? Good for you. Oh, that's Patricia. Yeah. The three of you've convinced yourselves you have extraordinary gifts like something out of a comic book. David Dunn, the only person to survive that train wreck all those years ago. What do you do? I'm in security. You think you have to? Oh, he's still saving it. Feeling, vision. I have to touch them. Oh, that's where he finds Kevin. My name's Patricia. I have no question. There he's still keeping up. Identities. I'm Mary Reynolds. What about Roy? Senor, we almost got you, bro. That live in the east. Coming any minute. Oh God, yeah. Guys. But what I am questioning is your belief that you are something more than human. And yet, it is true. It is true. Oh. Moments break easily. I've hit 94 breaks in my life. But you have an extraordinary IQ. Thank you. This is not a cartoon. This is the real world. There she is. Way. Oh, trying to get through. Still don't die with bullets. Oh, yeah. Some of us can still bend steel. Look at that. I've been waiting for the world to see that we exist. May I meet the beast? I have for your sake. Oh. He likes you. That sounds like the bad guys taming up. Bad guys teaming up. A lot of people are going to die. Don't do this. Shit. Are you ready? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What do you call you, sir? First name, Mr. Mr. Last name, Dude. Oh my god. So, so essentially they find and capture all manage to find and capture all, all three, three of them. them. Or oh, let, let's be kind of jokey. All twenty six of them. Yeah, yeah, that too. <laughs> but it seems like she's like she thinks it's all in the she she's like trying to convince them that it's all in their head. But it's not. It's not. This is real. What they can do, everything is real. A genius supervillain, a superhuman supervillain, mm -hmm. and the one guy who can actually stop both of them. Yeah, exactly. And it seems like Mr. Glass finds a way to get out, but this time he takes over the place. And it looks like they use the girl from Split to try to convince Kevin. To get, you know, yeah, to get him back. It's like, he know that's probably where he tries to get her. You know, he, he tries to bring her to She her tries help. to connect with, um, I think it was Ewing, the, the, the nine-year-old personality. He tries to connect. She's the only one who can really connect. She so captures she, four cheerleaders, which I think the cheerleader part is the funniest part about this. Like, so it's like they capture they capture them in the act of whatever they're doing, pretty much. Because uh, it's like they're still doing what they're doing, like yeah, so like and all that. Like David is like, well, we already know Glass has always been in like an asylum since then. Yeah. Um, we know we already know. I guess it looks like they eventually captured Kevin. Yeah. And it looks like they bump in. He bumps in. David bumps into Kevin and finally and finds, stumbles upon him. Yeah. And sees all. Not only one thing, he sees twenty three sins. sins. That's why. That's why like, he looked around, but like, like, what the fuck. Like and it looks know, like there is a part where they duke it out too. It looks like they go at it pretty much. So it, look, it looks like he, like he said, pretty much like which I love that line where it's just like it looks like the villains are teaming up, you know, type of thing. Where it's like it's like he's using the beast to take him out, pretty and much. And you can tell even David, um, pretty much is like just still doing what he want. He yeah. wanted his kid to believe him that he's doing, which is be a hero. Be a hero. So. That's why I like when he's like, so what do you do? He's like, I'm in security. Yeah, you know, he still does that, you know. It's like so. It's like, but he, it's like uh, during the day he does security, but at nighttime he does, you know, his his hero. Event. So it's gonna be, you know what? I'm interested, very interested, because it's not. It's like I said originally in my review on Star Wars about Unbreakable, which was it's not an ordinary comic book movie. It's Shyamalan's interpretation of what a comic book movie should be. It should be, and yeah. this is his interpretation of what a comic book movie crossover should yeah. be. So I'm hoping it does well. Shyamalan last couple movies has done actually pretty good. He's been doing. He's been on a roll. Not the wood. So far, so I'm hoping this does well, pretty much, because like I said, 
Uh, Unbreakable was, uh, was a great film. I loved Unbreakable. Split was mind blowing because James McAvoy did phenomenal. He was just the star of the whole goddamn thing because yeah. he just the way he went from one personality to another, which was really cool. They showed that here how he was continuing, you know, going back and forth between each person and still being Spider Man. Yeah, still being the Beast Spider Man, you know. Um, but I just I really wear, like where he's going with this and. I really can't wait to see this. This is something that has been building up for so many years that people have been asking for and we're finally getting. So hopefully it does really well. Yeah. So other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like it's just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about stuff from Comic-Con, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of our reaction overall. Uh, put down what you guys thought of this trailer, what you been hoping for is this something that you've been finally pumped to go see let us know in the comments below um but most importantly thank you for watching so until next time i'm kristen i'm christopher and this has been a very split glass but unbreakable filled episode of srb see you later Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.